Okay. Man. Well, my partner, what's got you so green? Stagnation, inability to progress. Heavy, but knowing you is not for lack of trying. What's wrong? Cinderfall. I've activated my own contacts in Haven. Ones Ospin doesn't know about. You have those? Well, they're not exactly professional intelligence contacts. I have a life outside of the mission. Really now? Anyone I should know about? No. Now shut up and listen. According to my contact, Miss Fall and two of her teammates were brought in by Headmaster Lionheart personally at the beginning of the year, but not as members of the orphans. Wait, two? But don't you need a team of four? Yes. The fourth member is registered in Haven as a student, but she's never been physically seen in the school. As far as my contact knows, the paperwork for her seems in order though. Also has the correct date and the signature of the headmaster. So you're saying that, yes, if we take what the students and Amber have told us and consider what and who it would have taken to make this happen unnoticed, I can only think that Headmaster Lionheart is compromised. So he's being blackmailed, or is he fully cooperating with them, with the enemy? I don't know, and that's the problem. To come out against Lionheart, who is as much an important political figure in Mistral as Ospin is in Vale, I'm going to need some serious evidence. Only immediate source of evidence available right now would be Roman Torchwick or Cinder herself, but Roman isn't taking as I'm talking, in the move against Cinder, who's under the protection of Lionheart, I need evidence for her, too. That's a mess. Oh, I hate all this hamster spinning. So you're in the same position as Osbin. Not exactly. Osbin's passiveness was due to his desire to avoid upsetting the general populace. My wish is to nail with absolute certainty. I have no qualms about upsetting the political balances, but it does give certain people protection. Half-assed attacks may lose us an opportunity to purge danger from our system, but any further inquiry I may want to make in a bad light. I can't allow that. Well, waiting around for something to happen certainly didn't help Osbin much, so what about looking into the past? I'm not sure I follow. Miss Fall and her allies have been in this school and vi in this school and Vale for months now. I really doubt they've been sitting on their thumbs. So what about inquiring into what they've been up to for all these months? No matter how good they can be at covering up their tracks, I'm sure we can find something you can use. It's a message from the White Fang. They successfully received the schematics. Good. Mercury, this isn't up for discussion. I'm just saying that. A handshake isn't exactly me, and I haven't made any effort to not be me while we stayed at the school. Then do it begrudgingly. No one is asking you to hug your opponent out of the blue, just to walk towards them and offer a hand. By the way, ma'am, do you have someone in mind as the target? It'll depend on how the tournament goes and who we'll face. I want it to happen at the quarterfinals to space out the two. But if I had to express a preference, I'd love it to be someone from Team Ruby. Why? Why them? Well, after the mess they made out of our plans, I'd say that one of them being humiliated and becoming the target of worldwide scorn and hate would be ideal punishment, don't you say? When you agree, Mint, dearest teammate? After all, they're also the reason why Roman has been captured and is currently being questioned by the Atlas military. Boring! We're the second match on Sunday. I want some action, damn it. Nora? We helped stop a terrorist attack a little more than two weeks ago. I think that's enough action. 
It's not the same thing. A Grim's no noggin doesn't crunch as satisfyingly as a human being. Nora, that may be the scariest thing you've ever said. For our enemies. <laughs> anyway, cannonball. Nora, change into your swimsuit first. Aren't you going to take a dip? Not really feeling like it, no. I mean, I guess I'm still a bit traumatized by the emergency exit from Peaks Lake. Also, I don't really have a costume. Oh. What's wrong? Nothing, just... I mean, we still share the connection, and I haven't taken a dip in a while. I must be the first person in history to be emotionally blackmailed into going for a swim. Fine, let me go grab a costume from the shop. You don't really have to. But now I feel like it. I'll be right back. And holy crap. Uh, let's go in order here. Under the... I mean, they probably all came here with the intention of swimming, though. But still, huh? Pira? But she looks kind of down. Yeah, I guess I should apologize. Sorry, Pira. Huh? Huh? Noah? The one and only... And considering my track record, I bet you're down because of me. What? what? No, that's not... No. Maybe a little. Shut up. Oh, we haven't had much time to talk or hang out since we came back. Well, yeah, because we've been resting following the final exams and the breach and then training for the tournament. You're not the only team who's been doing that, Noah. True. Then my apology shall serve as an icebreaker. What's wrong? A tug of war with the persona you created while dissociating with from everything negative in your life? I said zip it. Nah, I'll do one better. In one sentence? Uh, thinking I'm going crazy. Hey, excuse me? Why? Why are you doing this? You've left me no choice, and the more you try and suppress me, the worse it'll get. Have fun getting yourself out of this. I'm sorry. There's nothing to feel sorry for if there's something weighing on your mind, I want to know it. You're sweet. Thing is, well, maybe, maybe I can tell him a part of it. Yes, I bet that would take the pressure off. You see, I wasn't always at ease with fighting. I just like conflict in general, so becoming a prize fighter was... It took some adjusting. Why did you do it if you weren't really into it? It's a family thing. Problem is, because of that, I had to think of a method to deal with the stress and all the things I disliked. Find a way to endure. I found a way, but now it's not working anymore. I see. Well, if coping with the stress isn't working anymore, what about removing the source of the stress? I couldn't. No way. I can't get rid of her, but I certainly don't want to get rid of you either. See, I see. Then, um, have you tried maybe finding another outlet? That could be an idea. Anyways, any suggestions? Well, not dwelling on it over long and maybe joining your teammates in the pool could be a good start. I guess it would be. I didn't bring my swimsuit though. Me neither. So what, ab so w what about I go look where you can grab one so you can partake in the benefits of my reconnaissance? <laughs> okay, you go do that. Or we can go together. Oh no, I want you to try and relax and maybe try and telling your teammates what you don't feel like sharing with me. Noah, I... Hey, it's fine. We don't know each other that well yet, do we? It's natural that you wouldn't want to share certain things with me yet. 
I... It's not because... It's not because what? I... I'll see you in a little while, okay? Okay. It's not because I don't trust you. Then why aren't you being honest? That seems like a big lack of trust to me. Face it, invisible girl. I'm the one who trusts him more, than, more here. I'm the one who likes him more. I like him so much that I could, could bear myself fully to him. And the best part of it is, I can because you made me like that. So you wouldn't have to do that kind of stuff. Maybe one of the Atlas bots? Let's see, I think I saw one or two near the entrance. Last I saw, there was one right... Oh. Please, citizen, share with me what bothers you. You can't be serious. Citizen, destructive behaviors are usually a sign of emotional distress. What weighs on your mind? Citizen, you seem detached. I will now apply aggressive attitude to evoke an emotional response. <laughs> She's just punching the robot. <laughs> I guess she wanted to hit something. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> poor, poor me. <laughs> uh. What? the hell is she doing here? Query, what the hell is wrong with you, you cough midget? Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that's another line. Why have you been answering your phone? I guess he wasn't talking about a role reversal. Thank God for Ruby's inspirations. You are not getting away. What the hell is your problem? Do you have any idea how worried I was when I heard that Mr... All right. If she's here, it must mean that she's still... So if associating her with Torchwick, the Atlas Robot's around. When I heard about what happened to your dad, I was worried sick. I, if I had to be honest, I have conflicted feelings, sure, they forced you, but still, and why are you still, all right, of course, because they're here, they're her only way of getting Torchwick out of prison, whatever their plan is, it still involves him, or so they say, and it'll be best if they didn't see her with me when it's just go. I can't help but want to help her, but I have no way of doing that, do I? I can't just say, turn yourself in, other than, than the breach. Torchwick and Neil have a rap sheet of a kilometer long. They have no interest in coming to any kind of terms with them. If they get their hands on her, I I may never see Neo again. Yet if she continues on whatever path Cinder put her on, she... God damn it. What should I do? Let's go to the food stall. The noodles they serve at this shops are, wow, I mean, I had some good ones in the cafeteria, but I guess there's no substitute for the real thing, huh? I wonder if it's because the cook is Mistrali, or because they have some specific ingredients that... Ugh, just the person I didn't want to see. 
Well, what a surprise to see you here, Noah. And by that I mean, what a surprise to see you at all. You haven't called or came to see me after our heart to heart. I guess we've both been busy, haven't we? I guess we have. But really, with how I haven't managed to see head or tail of you for weeks? One may think you've been avoiding me. Can't think of any reason why I want to. Good answer. Why don't you join me for some goza, then? I'm not really hungry. Oh, nonsense. Human beings have a separate stomach for goza. I'll show you. Ugh. Here's your serving of goza, young lady. With some sides on the house. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, uncle. This is disgusting. How can... How can she act so... so normal? How dare she? I got us the mixed serving. Half our pork, half our chicken. Now I went to dip them into the sauce over long because I asked for a slightly more spicy variety. How are you able to do this? <sighs> Typical Falesian. Come on, chopsticks aren't that complex. I guess they're not. But using chopsticks while wanting to secretly destroy all of them is a bit hypocritical, don't you think? Oh, nonsense. I don't want to destroy all the chopsticks. She doesn't miss a beat. But what the hell? Like, seriously, what would I get out of that? I destroy all chopsticks and then find myself in a world devoid of anything interesting? Queen of nothing? Now, don't get me wrong. That's definitely the final aim of my big sister so to speak, but not mine. So, what is it you want? We talked about it last time, remember? To be the top chopstick. Eternal, polished, strong, and unbreakable. And for that, I need more food. And you, you couldn't find any other path to do that? I considered others, but my big sister simply offered me the one with the most rewards. All it took was being uncaring about some strangers the same way they were uncaring about me and the others. <laughs> yeah, most <re> <laughs> with the most rewards, but also with the most side effects of, oh, you can get fucked by Ruby's eyes. <laughs> and not only that, the past means aren't going to agree with you since, again, how main powers work is the soul is also transferred along with each passing. So the means aren't going to agree, oh, we are going to help Sam because this current meaning wants to. Yeah, no. And the fact that they haven't found the road that's a beacon at all. And I think I know where it is, if my guess is correct, but I'm not going to share because I'll be spoil spoiling something that hasn't happened yet. So I'll wait until what Rooster Teeth can show. The others? Me, Emerald, and Mercury are people who have been let down by their fellow chopsticks over and over. Including some chopsticks that should have existed to protect and shield them from the lower qualities of life. Well, Mercury, obviously his dad, but an Emerald, if I remember correctly, her freaking past, I think she was an orphan? Was she? Or did she run away from out? I don't remember. I don't remember Emerald's story. Is it really so hard to believe that we don't really give a damn about chopsticks we don't even know? Can you say you do? Are you a bleeding heart like Ruby Rose? No, I can't say that in good conscience. But I never, so many, because the chopsticks you care about would think of you very differently. But never say never when you've never been faced with such a choice, Noah. At the end of the day, when you're faced with a superior chopstick, you can only do two things. Break yourself against them, or bide your time offering them something that warrants keeping you around in the meanwhile. What I'm doing right now is the latter. 
nothing more, nothing less. And unless you got another offer, I'll keep on this path. Another offer. The gift shops. There's all those gift shops. One must carry swimsuits. I just need a pair of trunks anyway. Or shorts, for that matter. Let's see, this is the area for food. I remember the shops with clothing were a bit further down. Well, look who it is. Look who it isn't. Look who it isn't. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to say look who it is. Hey, Noah. Oh, Titania, and... Yeah, definitely don't know her. Surprised to see you out. I believe you have been stressing and researching and whatnot. Oh, we did that plenty, believe me. We managed to think of something, so all that's left is to relax and rest a plenty. <laughs> you got the celebrity team, right? Good luck with that. If they don't do you in, it's going to be their fans. Mm, if you say so. But I'm not sure I'm familiar. Uh, looks like no one is nowadays. Sierra? Sierra from Team Thunder. Nice to meet you. Team... Oh, right. You were the second year who fought Team Juniper during the exhibition matches. Finally, someone with some tack. And you're Noah, right? Yep. Nice to meet you, too. You looked like you were looking for something, by the way. What's your need? I felt like taking a soak in the pool, but I need to buy a pair of trunks first. Hmm, that'll be the third shop on the right row from our position. Oh, thank you very much. My pleasure. Have a nice soak. See you later, and good luck. Cool guy. I like him. Smells a bit like a rabbit. Wait, seriously? The tongue doesn't lie. <laughs> oh god, I forgot she's a snake. <laughs> I guess all the close contact encounters with Evelyn rubbed off on him. That's the fondest on their team, right? Are they together? Yep. And they can't seem to be able to keep their hands off each other. Oh wow. How did that affect the team dynamics? Well, Jack had to learn to sleep with earplugs sometimes. Penny instead, well, let's just say that if anyone could smell redhead, you will feel that too on him. You'll feel that too on him. Damn, kinda jealous. Oh come on, I'm sure you can find yourself a blonde if you wanted to. Not that. I'm kinda jealous of the relationship they're they have as a team. They sound very close. Yeah, if I had to be honest, I don't think there was some... I did think there was something weird about you wanting to meet up so often. But not that I mind, you're great and all, but... And not only that, the reason why we're close is because we more or less think each other as family. <laughs> or like... Yeah, like family, but... It's pretty much the same for Ruby's team, isn't it? Yeah. Excuse, excuse I've been using is reconnaissance. I've actually been do, doing that too, truth tell. I mostly just wanted to excuse to be away from them now that classes are over. It's that bad? Sadly, I have my own share of blame, but it was an uphill battle from the beginning. We're too different. Always been, been way too different, with way too much baggage. That gets in the way. All the achievements we have are not because of our team's dynamics, but in spite of them. Rox is our leader, but... He's not so much leads us, but drags us forward so far. Well, with one exception. How does it look? Inconclusive. The stage variation blocks can't be accessed from the ground level. Not even with your semblance? The, mecha the mechanism is too complex. Risk is too high. I see. Hopefully Aqua makes herself useful then.
Bet that asshole is saying stupid shit like, hopefully she makes, she's not useless this time. Stupid. That's why I hate normies. Just because my right arm has cracking abilities doesn't mean I can just hack into any database from anywhere. Even if they're on the same network. Well, at least it leaves me ample opportunity for a joke. I can imagine the twitching of his eyebrows. Sorry, Rox, trying to hack into the tournament database from the cargo drop-off. Terminal was incredibly unexpectedly... Successful? Wait, what? I... Wait, this can't be real. This... I can access literally any database that's connected to the Veil network? Wait, no, there's a part that's still locked off, but the ones that I can access? Who... who did this? And why? Yeah, Arthur Watts never imagined there being another hacker. So, yeah. Thanks for accommodating my request, Noah. I enjoy that. Think nothing of it. Sorry that I didn't really swim that much. It's fine. I know that you need to keep your strength and fitness for tomorrow. Speaking of which, how do you feel? As prepared as I can, we've gone over those tapes so many times and, well, I don't think we could have come up with a better strategy. Uh, I don't like the thought of you having to be bait though. Hey, I'll be fine. I'm not defenseless anymore, am I? And I just need to distract her until the others even, even out the odds. That's not what I mean. That's not what I meant. It's not that I fear for your safety. Um, okay, what is it then? You should take a bit more pride in your skills. You can do so much more than just being bait in this fight. You can win it for your team. You think too much of me, Amber. And you think too little. You made mistakes, big ones. Everyone does. And before you say not as big as mine, may I remind you that my overconfidence reduced me to an unconscious body only able to communicate with the outside world through a ghostly apparition? Amber, geez. What can I even say to that? You can say nothing. You can only start realizing that doing mistakes doesn't make you weak, nor does it leave you better off, better off out of the limelight. I'm sure you could have thought of other alternative plans for tomorrow, but they all involved giving you a bigger role, didn't they? <sighs> Seriously, Noah, what are you doing? going to do? Never do anything important ever again? One, two, three, four. Everything is ready. In they go. In they go. And nothing better than the preparatory, preparatory victory drink. Feels a bit weird doing it without coach though. Maybe a bit. But a fight is a fight. And remember what coach always says. Half the battle is fought in your mind. And a strong mind lies in the rituals. Coach or no coach. It's our thing to put ourselves in the mindset and we always do it. And we never lost. So we'll keep on doing it. On um, speaking of mindsets, do you're starting to scare me. You've been holding that smile for literally hours. It's kind of impressive, really. Is the prospect of fighting that guy really that exciting to you? It's something new. Never fought a whip user. I'm excited. Oh my poor Noah, please don't be too mean to him, he's a nice guy. Hmm? He is, isn't he? Although I have to criticize his taste in women. Hmm, I'll grant that for, I'll grant that from what we know about Team Jade, it doesn't look like a particularly complex fight, but at the same time we can't afford to underestimate them. While we know about their fighting styles and weapons, we only know the semblance of two of their members. 
They have much more information about us than we do about them. True. But that's always worked to our advantage so far, no? You know what they say about assuming. True. My point is Jack doesn't seem like the kind of leader to not have a plan. So let's be extra careful, alright? Keep our heads in the game. Alright, we won't let you down, Nebula. There's so many people who came to cheer us on. We can't give them a bad showing now, can we? I'll be careful and take my time studying his moves, evaluate his prowess. Caution shall be my middle name. <sighs> okay, Noah's yours. Now let's go back, it's dinner time. Speaking of which, it's almost 6 o'clock. Cover thing in order, Penny? You're the picture of perfect android health. Thanks, Papa. I will be able to give 100% tomorrow. It's going to be so fun. It's good to see you so excited. Especially since from what I hear, you're going to fight a very strong team. Which is perfect. I can't test my skills otherwise. Is all of this just a test for you, Penny? Just a way of seeing how you measure up against other students? Well, of course not. It's all also a way for people to start getting to know me. If people get to like me, then it's going to make it easier for our existence to be revealed to the public in the future. <laughs> right out of James' mouth. But I agree with the reasoning. Test of skill in public relations rally. I see. Not a bad way of looking at it. Which reminds me, that could actually be a way to get Noah to relax. How do you mean, Seal? Well, he has the stage for the tournament fights because he sees it as entertainment, at the expense of your health. But what if you get him to look at fights as something else? Something else? Jack sees it as a chance to prove herself. Evelyn sees it as a chance to mess with people, and you see it as a chance to get people to like you. There must be something like which works for Noah. I suppose you're right, but I wonder what it could be. Penny, Noah feels more at ease using his smarts rather than pure brawn in a fight, doesn't he? Thank you, the understanding father-in-law! <laughs> Indeed. I think that since he has had to rely on strategy more than anything else so far, he feels more comfortable thinking rather than just fighting. I see. Then may I suggest an option? Day 202. Final Festival, round of A of 32. A. I'll just add A block, just to uh, continue that sentence because I felt weird just ending it with just A. Ladies and gentlemen, adults and children, it's time for the revital! Live for the commentary box, ready to vision and comment that many bouts that 32. Two teams of first and second years from the four great academies of Remnant are about to go into. Actually, I'll back that up and I'll end this part right here. I'll take a small break and I'll be right back. <laughs> 